because this is the last episode or, or maybe the last episode maybe i'll export it to unity or to sketchfab if if you if you let me know so let's do some post-processing stuff so here in uh monitor panel let's start with environment opacity so so if you want the uh, environment to be seen you can make it 100 you can also change the, the environment map so here you have and this will affect your model so choose wisely which one like is the best for your model so I I don't know this looks okay this Villanova streets looks nice and uh, no this is too flat I think okay I think this Villanova Villanova uh, streets looks nice with this and we can make it more blurry so you will see you won't see the the environment you will see some nice gradient color behind and let's move down you can add shadows it will basically add the shadow to your mesh there's a different types of uh, com computation of the shadow but uh, this is too too much for me I think I'll make it smaller so now it's more 3d if you have shadows so this is before after before after and uh, it also looks more realistic you can drag it more down like 60 okay this okay this is okay this looks nice let's move down uh, here you can adjust the camera uh, properties so you can make it narrower or you can change the field of view uh, I think that the default was 45 but uh, I think like mostly in games 60 is the default so we can change it to 60 to see how, how it looks okay and um, focal length you can play with it oh I, I think uh, if you change the field to the focal uh, focal length change too so that is everything in, in properties. Now we can activate post effects. So this will make everything looks more beautiful. So first thing uh, is enabling anti-aliasing. Uh, anti anti-aliasing. Anti anti-aliasing. So anti-aliasing, never mind. So uh, NTL I think is basically uh, it will make your edges uh, smoother so where you have rigged edges it will make it smoother so for example as you can see I don't know if you can see it but uh, if I disable it you can see there the like pixels here on the edges and if you uh, toggle it on it will make them smooth so this is always a nice effect so until I think it's the first thing but uh, if you want uh, your rock to look crispy you can disable this okay uh, color correction mm, I think uh, there's nothing you, you can make it more saturated but uh, ah okay first first you have to enable the the, the color correction you can make it more saturated so it will have it will be more more colorful but I don't want it too much so I don't want I don't think I don't want I don't want saturation I, I want contrast so it will make darks darker and white whiter so this I want to change it slightly very slightly uh, not like this <laughs> It will be 1.08. It's still too much. Okay, 
okay i think 1.02 was nice yeah 0 0.2 was it's nice let, let, let's leave saturation at zero okay brightness yeah it's just increase the brightness we can do it too on point one looks nice bias uh, basic I, I don't know what what it does but it doesn't look good so I will leave it at zero sepia tone ratio it will make it like dark uh, black and white if you want we don't want that make it zero and this will change the temperature of your model this is warm colors this is uh, cool colors yeah cool colors okay so uh, I think we will leave it at default 6500 or make it warmer so 8500 8, looks nice uh, the DOF, DOF is depth of field. You can enable that if you want, but uh, this will make something blurry. Like it will make your model blurry and have a focus point. But I think I don't want that, so I will disable this. Next step is, uh, next uh, section is tone mapping. So, uh, tone mapping is uh, basically the color profiles, like the different ways to, to, sh to show colors. So the base default one is linear. So this looks like this, if you change it, it's, it's just like filters. So just change. To different ones and see which one you like the most so I change it by arrow keys okay so let's start from the beginning this is linear linear saturated I think since mm, this one looks nice I think this one is too flat uh, too flat so too flat and this one looks nice too, but uh, I think we want this one. This one looks nice, and I think it's too too bright for uh, for right now. So I, I will decrease the exposure to 0 0.8 gamma. It was one. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, I will leave it at one. Uh, mapping factor, I don't know what is this. Let's just 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 leave it at thirty-two. Okay, so next next uh, one is Claire. Uh, I think this one won't affect. Okay, if you if you want to have a glare, just just add this, but uh, this won't be seen on our. Uh, maybe a bit. It's, oh, this looks nice, but uh, mostly you use this effect if you have uh, a, a material that is glossy or metallic. But but here we have a, a rock, so. It is not glossy or anything, but we, we can add, we can leave it on because it looks like nice. Uh, vignette is uh, just a border of, yeah, it's just black border around the screen space. So you can make it very strong if you want the player to focus on, on the, uh, the, the user on, on the rock. Uh, I think just leave it subtle because it's not good to have it too much. So 0 0.3 is okay. So this is with without. And la last is la lens distortion and uh, 
this will just distort our lens but yeah it doesn't look good here yeah so, so just disable it so this is for if you have skins i think i, I forgot if you have skins and you want to the light to light through the skin you activate this one but we don't have any skin so i think that is our end result of the of the of our rock so this is without post processing i think it, it still looks good but with post processing it's it looks a lot better and in in game engines like unity you can also add post processing effects so yeah it i think it will look the same in games uh, in game engines so with without so uh, i think that is the end of the series ah yeah uh, if you want to render it <laughs> just press here in it, it will turn into rendering uh, viewport and uh, it will render the image but it's so heavy on the computer yeah it's, it's so heavy so so i think the best way i will try to show you but uh, my computer can can crash anytime uh, here you you change the resolution to make it for example uh, yeah make it like default 16 by 9 and uh, you just wait till it finish rendering and press save render and I, I think I, I, I want I want render it because it's too heavy for me so I, I will just take a, a picture of this like take a screenshot of this Yeah, this is, that's it, I think. You can take it from another angle, so like from, be, from behind, it looks uh, very nice, I think. Yeah, I'm just rotating the, the environment with shortcut. You can do the same with here. Yeah, this also looks nice. So press Ctrl S, save your project, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you want me to export it to Sketchfab or uh, Unity, uh, just let me know in the comments, and I will do it. So ah uh, uh, yeah, and uh, suggest uh, like if you want me to do some tutorials on, on something, uh, you can suggest it in. In comments and I think I'll, I will do blender 2.8 most mostly and and unity stuff so like programming how to make games etc and uh, yeah so let me know in the comments and uh, see you guys <laughs>